Chris Chapman was just walking his dog along the San Lorenzo River in Santa Cruz when... I felt a sharp poke in my foot and I looked down and, and didn't notice anything. And then I took another step and I felt a real sharp jab and I looked down and sure enough I had the uh, twist off cap of a syringe stuck in the back of my foot. It's been a month of checkups and blood tests to make sure he didn't catch anything. The odds of me contracting something are 5%. But others don't want to take any chances. The drug use in public spaces has gotten so bad that parents tell me before they let their kids come inside the playground and play, they sift through the sand to make sure that there aren't any needles just lying around. You put seatbelts on your kids? You have car seats in your car? If you live in the city of Santa Cruz, you rake the sand, you don't let your kids walk in front of you five feet without knowing where they're walking to. It's the reality that we live with. And Annalisa Cube, who helped start Take Back Santa Cruz, has been on the forefront of change. But even with the county making some improvements to the Nido Exchange program, she said it's not over. Annalisa hopes to put safe drop boxes inside public restrooms. We have to find an answer because as a parent, it's scary. An idea that Chris Chapman thinks will work. Give them a spot to put their stuff, they're going to put it there. In Santa Cruz, I'm Ricardo Navarro, your Central Coast News.